friends welcome to tutorials point in this video we are going to learn tools and toolbar in adobe photoshop so friends when you start a photoshop the tool panel appear at the left side of the screen now in this tool panel or you can say a toolbar some tools are a hidden for enable that you just need to take a cursor from here and long press on it or you can also right click from your mouse to appear this box and here you can see a many hidden tools like this there are many hidden tools in photoshop these are just hidden behind this particular tool so friends to know if is there any hidden tools or not for that you can see a small triangle over here that signals that a presence of hidden tools you can view the information about any tools by positioning the pointer over it like this and you can just right click on it or you just a long press on it to show the hidden tools now in this video you will learn how the tools are organized in the toolbar and how to access photoshop's many hidden tool first we check a single or a double column bar so guys by default this tool bar appear as a long single column it can be expanded into a shorter or a double column by the double arrow icon on the top as you can see the double arrow icon okay now click the same icon again to make it a single column or you can again click on to make it a double column so guys now we are going to see a different different tools layout in adobe photoshop so while it may seems like the tools are a listed randomly they are actually a logical order with related tools grouped together at the top we have a photoshop move selection tool and below them we have a crop and slice tool after that we can say some measurement tool and then we can see a retouching and painting tools and after that you can see a drawing and typing tool and at the last when you can see a navigation tools so friends now we see which tools belong to which category okay so first category is move and selection tool so these four tools which we can say move tool the artboard tool next is a rectangular marquee tool elliptical marquee tool single row marquee tool single column marquee tool and then lasso tool polygon lasso tool magnetic lasso tool and a uh, object uh, selection tool quick selection tool and magic wand tool these all tools are belong to move and selection tool okay to enable this move tool you can press v okay and for this selection tool you can use a uh, press m for this lasso tool polygon lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool you can use a shortcut l and for this you can use a shortcut w okay friends now our next category is a crop and slice tool so here you can see this crop tool if you long press on it or a right click on it you can see a different different crop tool this crop tool perspective crop tool slice tool and slice select tool these all tools are belong to a crop and slice tool category now next we are going to see a measurement tool as you can see this eye dropper tool okay this eye dropper tool you can also use a shortcut i to appear this eye dropper tool this eye dropper tool is belong to a measurement tool just long press on it or you can just right click on it to appear the hidden tools so there are uh, eye dropper tools 3d material eye dropper tools color sample tools ruler tools knot tools and 1 2 3 count tools these all tools are belong to a uh, measurement tools by using a shortcut i you can appear this tool in adobe photoshop now guys next we are going to learn retouching and painting tools so beside this you can see the spot healing brush tools healing brush tools patch tools content aware tools red eye tools these all tools belong to the retouching and painting tools there are other tools also belong to this category which we are going to see so to enable this tool you just need to press j from the keyboard to enable this tool now next is brush tool pencil brush tool color replacement tool and mixture brush tool this four brush tool is also belong to our retouching and painting category tool now next is clone stamp tool and pattern stamp tool these also belong to a retouching and painting tools category 
okay after that we can see a history brush tool and art history brush tool this also belong to a retouching and painting brush tool you can press a shortcut y to enable this tool after that we can see eraser tool background eraser tool and magic eraser tool this eraser tool is also belong to a retouching and painting tool next is a gradient tool in gradient tool we have a gradient tool paint bucket tool 3d material dropper tool this gradient tool is also belong to retouching and painting tools by using a shortcut g you can enable this tool and after that we can see a blur tool blur tool sharpen tool and smudge tool these three tools are also belong to this retouching and painting tools there is no shortcut for this tool so we can just and click on this or you can just enable this other option by right click on it or you can just click on this small arrow to appear the different hidden tools okay this blur tool is also in a retouching and painting category tools after that we can see a dodge tool burn tool and smudge tool these tools is also in a retouching and painting category by pressing o you can enable this tool so guys those all tools are belong to retouching and painting tool next we are going to see drawing and typing tool so in a drawing and typing tool first we see a pen tool by pressing a p you can enable this pen tool in this pen tool we can see a pen tool free from pen tool curvature pen tool add anchor point tool delete anchor point tool convert point tool these all pen tools are belong to drawing and type tools okay after that we can see a horizontal type tool vertical type tool vertical type mask tool and horizontal type mask tool these all type tools are belong to a drawing and type tool we can also say that this is a text tool okay after that we have a path selection tool and direct selection tool these two selection tools are also belong to a drawing and type tools by pressing a shortcut a you can enable this tool and after that we can see a rectangular tool rounded rectangular tool ellipse tool polygon tool line tool custom shape tool okay these tools are also belong to a drawing and types tool which we are already learned in our previous video okay by pressing a u you can enable these shapes fine guys so these all tools are belong to a drawing and type tools and at the last we are going to see a navigation tools so guys this zoom tool as you can see this zoom tools is belong to the navigation tools after that we can see this hand tool and rotate view tool the shortcut is for hand tool is h and rotate view tool for shortcut is r this also belong to a navigation tools so this tools are belong to the navigation tools so we categorize the all tools in different categories so we categorize these all tools in a different different categories like uh, like move and selection tools crop and slice tools measurement tools retouching and painting tools drawing and type tools and navigation tools so in our next video we are going to learn all tools one by one in detail so thank you so much guys see you in the next video